the same we can discuss by having an example if you ask me that uh, there is a chair and uh, we want to uh, define that this chair has to be represented in 3d then we need to give two kinds of information into that 3d object so that it looks uh, similar to the chair so one thing is the geometric details um, means what is the dimensions of this chair means how does the visual appearance uh, of the chair is there what kind of legs does it have what kind of cushion thickness it is using all this kind of information which is more to do with the geometric or the visual information and another important part of uh, having a 3d information model is having the non geometric data embedded into this 3d models which is maybe the manufacturer details of this particular chair or uh, this chair's uh, carbon uh, if this things what is this sustainability score what is the weight of this chair all this kind of information can be categorized into non geometric data so this geometric data and non geometric data collectively will be called as lod similarly for the people who are from service ba services background so whenever there is an lod which is associated so we can understand by taking this ahu as an example air handling unit which supplies uh, let's say cold, cold or hot air into your room basically the physical appearance the shape size all these kind of things can be stored as geometric information and the non geometric information will be let's say uh, what is the air flow of this and what is the noise level does it produce all these kind of information when embedded into these 3d models collectively this information will be called as level of detail 